Hey, you guys! If I haven't already said how amazing these abutilons are, let me show you again. It is mid-fall, mid-October. We are approaching some winter nights of 30s. So I am not sure how much longer they will last. But this is the abutilon, um, also called flowering maple, also known as a Chinese lantern. Basically, because if you look at it, here's a here's a prime example. This one here. Doesn't it look like a cute little Chinese lantern? Red for the symbol color of good luck in the Chinese culture. But aren't they beautiful? This is one of the f plants that I did from a cutting of the mother plant. And they have done really well. Today, I actually just took a couple more cuttings, so this is why this one looks like it's mutilated. It looks as big and massive as this one, and flanking that other one over there. But this one looks pretty sad because as the uh, nights are fast approaching cold weather, I took some cutting from this middle one um, to basically grow some more for the winter time so I can plant some in the springtime. They root very easily and I believe I've already done a video on it but I will do another one um, probably when these guys start to dwindle off but I just couldn't give up all the flowers they are giving me right now. Um, they are a hummingbird magnet just like the uh, um, I'm going to show you right over here at the vermilion there. Sorry, still working my garden even though it's fall time. Um, the hummingbirds love, love the abutilon. And honestly, I don't know how they can get food in there. But they do. They go in between here. And they go for the food that is in there. But you can see the pollen. So the pollinators love it as well because it gives them all this pollen. But the hummingbirds love this plant. So I planted them here along our shed so that way I can sit outside and just watch the hummingbirds come. They usually come in the morning times and then in the evening times um, before dusk. So if you look here, these are new buds that I have on the plant that are still growing, still sending me new flowers. So if you want something to flower all spring, all summer, and through the fall until you guys get that first frost, the butylon definitely does it. So as it starts out, these are tiny little buds that are forming. And eventually they get big enough to where they form this little tiny guy right there. See, he's going to probably open by tomorrow. Look at it. He's already like doing a downward lantern. So once they get to that position then this is their prime right here then they look like this and then once they are done they usually last about a day then they get ready to close up kind of like this now you can let it keep on going and it will form a seed for you so here's the seed pod and if you keep on letting it grow it's going to get even bigger and eventually it will push out and this is what it looks like and it'll age. I usually don't let it do it because I want it to spend its energy on flowering for me as opposed to forming seed pods. So I just go in and I just snap it off. So if you snap it off, it won't take the energy and time to form this little tiny seed pod that you see on the inside. And then if you leave it, it will eventually look like this. It'll get bigger. And then it will even get bigger. See it? Until it fully forms. And then it will take out these outer shells. And it'll look like this. But way bigger. And it'll brown. And in the inside, I wish I had one to show you guys. Inside of it are tiny brown seeds. Let's see if maybe this one is big enough. Nope. Um, be tiny little brown seeds that you can plant. But like I said, the if you uh, the method of cutting roots way more easy. I just take a cutting. 
I don't even dip it in anything. I just put it straight in um, basically potting soil and it'll take. So there's no problem with that. But isn't it beautiful? Look. More new ones are coming out. And this red, you guys, is beautiful. Like the lipstick red. Look at it. Isn't it beautiful? That color is just breathtaking. All right, so this is my Abutilon. I hope you guys are having a great day. And thank you so much for watching, everybody. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.